Uh, space Cup. Time for Space Cup. Oh, I gotta be honest, I just felt like playing this. I didn't had no reason. <laughs> Man, I used to play as Pinstripe all the time. In the classic game, I thought he was really cool. <laughs> Play as Ripperoo. <laughs> what car can we have? There's just so many cars in this game. There are so many carts, colors, all of these options, and it's like so focused on you trying to get everything. If you try to do that, you're just gonna end up spending way too much money. It becomes a major problem. Because it's like, there's just so much. There's just so much in this game. And uh, it's all really expensive. I don't. I never really show the pit stop in um, the the recording. But uh, like one color is like a thousand five hundred in-game coins. Now that we got the New Zealand flag, not from New Zealand, they're just like New Zealand. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's just like, there is so much, like, for a character, it's like a 1,500 or more. Uh, for bundles, it's just ridiculous, where you get, like, extra stuff with the character or the cart. The carts are ridiculously expensive, because you have to get them in bundles, if I remember correctly. The decals are little stickers and things. Weirdly, the decals where you can change the thing, uh, and uh, change, like base like it has stripes now or like tribal markings or whatever like the tribe urban tribal tattoo style stuff like that uh is the cheapest thing the most ex the most expensive for the lowest value is the random sticker like the flag and things if you if you want to buy that the flags are free but like um if you want to buy a different sticker that they have for sale it's like a thousand per sticker sometimes and you're like it's just a sticker, man. Uh, so Ripperoo is by default a turn based, uh, so like that means he's got really good handling, uh, but like his top speed and acceleration are lower than other styles. Uh, fuck. Now, ah. Uh, and I'm not really used to, to like the high turn, like the his ability to handle, and because like, I just don't play that type very often. And it's just like I yeah, find it a little tough sometimes. But you really need it for tracks like this. Playing this track with a top speed, low handling character. Uh, with the lowest handling in the game is like it's basically impossible to stop yourself falling off. Even with a handling character, it's still quite hard to stay on the track with this one. The additional tracks in this game are actually quite hard, and the AI feels like it's tuned up a little bit. So, yeah, it's not as straightforward for those. Entrance is in first place, and I absolutely fucking hate Entrance. Uh -oh, wrong way. No. They're not really the wrong way, it's just it fell off. It's not going well. This game taught me way too much about Crash Bandicoot lore, because they, like, as the DLC was going through, I was saying to one of my friends, geez, they're just trying to get everyone from the Crash Bandicoot extended 
entire character base in this game. And I was thinking, I know, I'm a bit of a Crash Bandicoot buff. I played the PlayStation games, I played some of the PS2 games. I, I know most of them. Didn't play like any of the Game Boy games except that weird crossover he had where he was in Spyro's world and Spyro was in his world. And they weren't great to be honest. It's pretty lame. Um, but you know, it was fine. Played Twin Sanity, played like Nitro Kart, uh, played Wrath of Cordex. Thought I knew everything. I did not know everything. I was like sitting there like, who the fuck's. Uh, what's her name? Pasadino Possum. She's in number two at the moment. And I was just sat there like, who are these characters? And I was having to wiki people, and I was just like, I thought I knew the most obscure of people like Entrance, Rillaru, characters invented for the Nitro Kart franchise. <laughs> oh, that was bad. But they were pulling some random ass characters that are like one of them, the the moose guy that you see sometimes in this. I forget his name. He's like a moose in a bomber jacket. He's a uh, he's a uh, he's um like he was just a sketch in one of Naughty Dog's uh, concept artist handbook that he f threw away and wasn't even part of the original cast. Like he wasn't even designed to be a Crash Bandicoot character. He was designed for some other like petrol company or like as another project that the guy, the designer was working on for like a sponsored deal with like some small company. And uh, they just stole the concept art or pulled it out and went, oh, this wasn't used for anything. And they like got in contact with the guy or I guess and just went, oh, we're just going to turn him into a character. <laughs> and I was like, you know, when you're doing that, <laughs> I would say when you bring Penta Penguin in, but to be honest, Penta Penguin was always available in the base CTR game on the PS1, so didn't know who she he she was then don't know what don't know who he she was now except that I wiki did and was like oh it's a specific manga character <laughs> I don't like baby characters my big pet peeve in uh, card games and I, I'm not sure if Mario did this first, but it's the one that everyone knows. I really hate the baby character. That feels like a slot wastage, because I don't know who's sitting there going, Oh, cute! A baby! This baby can drive! I need to play as a baby! <laughs> baby Mario and Baby Luigi never play as them. Uh, Baby Peach, Baby Peach, of course, also not. But then, in this game, for some reason, they were like, we need to make Baby Crash, Coco, and Cortex, and I'm like, why? <laughs> why? But then again, like, I'm the worst person to ask about babies, real life, or in video games. I'm like, I don't understand. Like, people say, oh my god, it's so cute, it's a baby, and I'm like, what? <laughs> the fuck? No, it's not cute. Like, I just don't have anything in me that goes, wow, babies are so cute, I just go, it's a baby. Like, I don't have any, like, anger towards them. It's not a Freudian or, like, otherwise underlying proof that I'm fearful of commitment. It's lit or, like, anything. Like, I'm just sat there, like, I don't. Like, it's just so neutral, like, here is a baby. There's a baby. Oh, I hit my own shit now. Oh no, I'm fucking up. Oh no, I can't see because- Oh! <laughs> I thought someone else would have hit my shit, but they all went round it. Oh, the entrance is back. I hate entrance, stupid egg motherfucker. You don't deserve the end moniker. That's my word. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Not my word. 
word. It's <laughs> Cortex's word. It's Trippy's word. You can tell he was later in the... Oh, fuck. This is not gonna go well. No. Oh. oh. Uh, you can tell he was added later, you just by his design, like, they were obviously like, yeah, this will work, and it was just, like, fired out, like, it's such a terrible design, if you ask me. <laughs> what was I saying before? Talk about different characters in the game. Yeah, I was surprised Rillaroo didn't come in earlier because I actually knew who he was, but then I don't think many people played Crash Bash. I think I played Crash Bash, and I forced my friends to play Crash Bash with me when they came around, and they were just like, this this is just a mini games collection, can you stop making us play it? And I was like, no! <laughs> play as Rillaroo! And they're like, why? Because... I don't know. And like, if you play Crash Bash, the opening cutscene is absolutely hilarious. Because they just act like Rillaroo was always there. Like, they always act like he was just always there. Like, look, here's our friend, Rillaroo. And Rillaroo's like, sup? And there's no explanation or origin story. He's just there. Like, what? You don't know about Rillaroo? <laughs> Tiny Tiger, Dingadal, and Rillaroo. That, that whole game is fucking weird, I'm gonna be honest. Like, the whole game is just nonsense. Like, to make the teams more, like, even, because you have to have teams uh, in that game, they literally, the masks have an argument and are like, dude, Cortex has too many people, it's not fair. And they're like, okay, and they literally just tell, like, I think it's Tiny and uh, Rillaroo. Go to the other team, fuck you. <laughs> like, you know, just like, they literally, like, there's, there's, like, they're henchmen, but you assume that they're, like, somewhat, like, complicit because they're, like, in Cortex's inventions and, like, horrible animal testing creations. So you think, oh, okay, like, um, they have no choice, right? And, like, the masks just say, no, go to the, the Bandicoot team, go to the good side, and they, they don't even pull up a fight, they're just like, oh, okay. <laughs> Such a fucking weird game. They're like, if I told you that it was mostly about, like, you playing mini games where you shoot each other with tanks, or, like, you play a weird version of Hungry Hungry Hippos or mix with Pinball, or you, like... I can't remember, like, play a game where you jump around on pogo sticks trying to make every tile your colour rather than your enemy getting more colour than you. Because, yeah. All of those things can be done, and there are many other mini-games that have been less memorable for me. It's a weird game. Pretty sure there was, like, a Super Bomberman-style map where you had to go around. I think that was a tank battle. It was basically Bomberman, but with tanks. It was weird. It was supposed to be a party game, like Mario Party, but it just wasn't very fun <laughs> or well laid. Why am I talking about Crash Bash? I mean, it's on topic, I guess. I used to be so good at aiming bombs, and now I can't aim bombs for shit. Yeah, they basically got everyone for this game. And I was always sat there like, uh, oh, they better put this, like, before each DLC came out, I was like, or each season came out, I should say. Um, I would be like, man, they really need to put Embryo in these because Embryo's, like, champ. I was like, oh my god, they put Embryo in. It's like, okay. So I really like the original trilogy. I was like, they just gotta put everyone in. Original trilogy. So I was like, okay, put him in. Okay, next they got put Koala Kong in, and then they put Koala Kong in. I was like, oh, if they put Rillaroo in, I'm just gonna be so like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know if they took him back out. You know? I haven't checked the character list for a while. I heard they fixed him. There's like two Rillaroos on the list now. Um. Yeah, 
but there's certain characters like Yaya -Ya Panda that I was like, who the fuck is Yaya -Ya Panda? And I played her once because I unlocked her really easily during the event that she was in, and I like played her once, and all she does is scream. And I'm just sat there like, okay, I'm never playing this character ever again. This character is fucking annoying. And then I researched where she was from, and it's a random iPad game. What? That was like a dick dude. Okay, lost me first place. Um. Yeah, and literally, she's her voice lines make her sound like such an irritating character, where she's just screaming all right, right in your face the whole time, and you're just like, oh, she's one of those people who's just so high energy that they're grabbing you all the time and screaming at the bar. You know, she's that she's that person. She's the high energy person who thinks that she's being really fun, but she's actually just pissing everyone off. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a grumpy asshole. And I was just like, why? Why is this? Is this an invented character? It's got to be invented. And they were like, nah, she was in a, like, she was added to an iPad game. And I was like, okay. Why does she have to be in the game? But like, this has always confused me about Crash Bandicoot franchises. They, they always want to add their own shit. And you're like, there is, there are so many characters that have shown up once that you could do anything with, but you refuse point blank to do anything with, and it's really confusing. Like, Koala Kong shows up once. Rilla Roo shows up once. Entrance shows up in a fucking kart game and a GBA game and then never shows up again. Except to just be around, and he's really irritating. And you're sat. Well, I think he shows up more than that. But like, you're sat there and you're thinking, uh, you've got such a wide gallery of characters that are basically like just basic different kinds of personas. And uh, <laughs> every game, no matter if it's like a stupid mobile game tie-in or something, creates a new character that will be forever trapped in that game. And I don't know why. It's like everyone has a Fasona OC, and if they get the Crash Bandicoot license, they're like, oh, fucking hell, I gotta get my Fasona OC in. This is the best place for it. You can get away with all sorts of humanoid weird fur shit. <laughs> and they just like stuff their fucking character in. And sometimes you can really tell it's not like on theme with the rest of the, like. But there is like a really loose theme with Crash Bandicoot characters and it's like, so it's very hard to say, oh yeah that tracks, that doesn't. Entrance doesn't track because he's a fucking talking egg and normally a villain is either a mad scientist with humanoid kind of like features or it's a mutated animal, so yeah. And some characters are just straight up fucking robots, and you're like, that's why Nitro Kart was a bit flat. It was a bit like, uh, these characters do. What the fuck is Zam and Zam? What? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Then you think about what came before, and you're just a bit like, oh yeah, there's barely a theme. There's barely a theme. Some of the characters look very like humanoid. Some of them look like ridiculous character cartoon like parodies, and don't have human proportions at all. So it's just like, just there's no theme in here, which makes it rife for you to stick your persona in there, and no one even notice. Box. Yeah. So I'm just, even if I come first for this one, I fucked everything up on points by a significant length because I kept just getting wrecked for the first three races there. 
So, yes, don't, don't expect me to win this. <laughs> This track pretty easily because it's a very wide track with big sweeping turns, even if I fucked up that corner. Uh, it gives you a lot of chance to boost around all the corners. Ah! Uh, so close. Oh god, I've got another lap here. Post those games, he was just like ignored. Maybe because he's quite an insensitive depiction of men, uh, mental un unhealth, ill health. But like, uh, you know, he's not exactly a very deep character. It's just Blue Kangaroo is crazy and will try and kill you, and that's like the entire boss fight every single time. And it's not—he's not even like. He's not even N Cortex under N Cortex's control. I think the whole thing is that he's just kind of around, and he's a failed experiment, and that's why he's kind of quote unquote crazy. Because, um, yeah, Cortex is like at the end of Crash Bandicoot 2 in his boss at the end of his boss fight. Cortex is like, ah, I see you handled. Ripperoo, and he says it in like a kind of tone where it's like, yeah, he wasn't under my control at all. <laughs> like, you know, he was just standing in the way. <laughs> so yeah, I lost by 11 points. I blame Ripperoo, he's driving with his feet. Oh, I'm just doing these for the stars. I don't even know if the stars get me anything because I haven't done them all yet. Hoping to give me something like a, I don't know, extra color or something for the carts. I don't, I don't know. Uh, God, the load times on this. Man, <laughs> this is a long ass load time. It's gotten way longer lately. Don't know if that's because it's like. I don't know. I have no idea. It's not for me, it's for this character I hate. <laughs> I will never stand in trance. God, I'm gonna think about who I think's the worst later. <laughs> 